at the beginning of this new year, we're probably all wondering where we can find hope. 2020 was difficult, 2021 hasn't gone off to a great start, but the vaccine is on its way. And even though there are many other challenges facing us, uh, we hope. And uh, one of my favourite passages in the Bible is when Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego are um, going to be thrown into the burning fiery furnace and are given a last chance to worship King Nebuchadnezzar's golden statue. But they say, well look how God might save us, how God might not save us. But we're not going to do what we know to be wrong. Uh, we're going to place our hope in God's way of living, in God's way of inhabiting the earth. Uh, on New Year 1945, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who was a German pastor who uh, bravely opposed the Nazi government, uh, wrote a poem in prison. Uh, I won't read all of it, it's a longish poem. But here are a few verses which also speak of, well, good things may be ahead, but there may also be bad things. But we place our trust in God and in the light that he shines on us. So he writes, Should it be ours to drain the cup of grieving, even to the dregs of pain, at thy command, we will not falter, thankfully receiving all that is given by thy loving hand. But should it be thy will once more to release us to life's enjoyment and its good sunshine, that which we've learned from sorrow shall increase us and all our life we dedicate as thine. Today let candles shed their radiant greeting, lo, on our darkness, are they not thy light leading us happily to our long-for meeting, thou canst illumine even our darkest night. In this new year we pray that the light of Christ may shine in our darkness, and if you would like me to pray for you, or for the sisters of Whitby who are praying with me to pray for you, uh, please send in a prayer, uh, and we will pray for you this new year here at Bishop Thorpe Palace. Um, 